Hi there! If you're an educator, you might be interested in creating learning materials with ArcGIS story maps that include a student self-check using ArcGIS Survey 123. In this video, I'll show you how to build a self-check quiz and embed it into your story so it looks and works like the example that I'm showing here. When students finish reading the story about beaches, they're presented with questions related to the story content. To get started, I'm signing in on my ArcGIS account, choosing the App menu from the top navigation bar, and then I'm selecting Survey123. From here, I choose New Survey in the bar near the top, and then Get Started from the Blank Survey option to open the Survey Builder. Now I'm adding a title to the survey. Next, I'm adding a title for my quiz. This title will appear when the survey is embedded in my story unless I choose to hide the title in the Appearance panel. Now for the questions. I'm going to select Add, and I'm choosing a single choice question type and will add the question and answers to the survey. Next, I select the untitled question to edit it. Then I add the question to the label box, and I'm not adding hints this time. Now I'm adding the answers to the choice boxes. To add the conditional responses to the questions, I choose Add and then Note. To streamline this process, I match the note label with the answer. So if the answer is the crust, I add this phrase in the label and then add the conditional response in the description section. I repeat the steps of adding the note, label, and description so that it matches with the question. I'm going to go back to my question and choose the Set Rule icon in the lower right. In the pop-up window, I match the content in the If column to the content in the Show column. Next, I'm adding a drop-down style question. While adding a new question, I'm checking to ensure that the earlier questions and responses are grouped together so they show up together in the quiz. My new question is between the previous question and its answers, so I'm selecting and dragging the new question to the bottom. The process is the same as before. I add the question in the label box and the answers in the choices boxes. Next, I'm choosing Add and Notes and typing in the label for the conditional response and the answers and repeating this step until all the choices are added. Then I go to the Set Rule icon in the lower right of the drop-down question to match the answers in the If and Show columns. Now I'm adding the last question, a single choice style with four answer options so I can see what it looks like with all of the questions and answers included. I'm going into the Appearance panel to make a few adjustments. I'm turning off the survey description and the survey footer for my story. Now I'm going to go into the Options panel. I'm editing the default to say, great, your self-check is complete. Next, I'm previewing the survey. I'm happy with it, so I'm going to go ahead and save and publish the survey and add it to my story. To get the link for embedding the survey, I select the sharing icon. Then I copy the URL to the clipboard. I have my story open in edit mode in another tab. Now I choose the plus symbol to open the block palette, choose embed, and paste my link in here.
Finally, I click Publish and the story is complete. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped give you the confidence and inspiration to try adding a Survey123 self-check to your story.